Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Tiffany and I upload a new homemaking video every Sunday. Today is going to be a fun, quick little video about how to save money and reduce the amount of trash that goes out of your house. And I also have a little tip on how to make it run more efficiently. I have been wanting to do this since I started my channel, but I was worried that it wouldn't be long enough. I finally decided it's fine if it's just a short little video this week. So I have lots of big projects working and this is a great time to do something small. So come with me and I'll show you a few little fun things to incorporate. The first thing I want to talk to you all about is napkins. I use cloth napkins in my house, even when I have company, if I can help it. If I have a party of more than about 10 people, I'll switch to paper napkins because that's just too, I don't have that many napkins. Maybe I will one day, but I don't right now. So I use cloth napkins, my friends. I bought these in 2011 and they're still going strong. I use them with almost every single meal except I do occasionally change out for something fancier and more festive for holidays and birthdays and things like that. I found that it saves me a lot of money and it doesn't really add that much laundry to my life. So I would rather just throw these in the wash, fold them and put them away with my towels. It doesn't take any more time really, like a few seconds. And it saves me so much money and I don't even buy cloth napkins, I mean paper napkins anymore. My next tip is along the same lines, but it is replacing paper towels with these washable paper towels. I got these at Trader Joe's. You can get pack, a pack of two for I think under $3. So if you just make an initial investment of, I don't know, 15 bucks, you can get a whole bunch of these and they'll pretty much replace your paper towel. The only thing that I would say that's a little tricky about these is you wanna try and get these on the line to dry. You don't wanna put them in the dryer but honestly, I've put all of mine in the dryer and they're still fine. So don't worry too much about that. And like the cloth napkins, it really doesn't add much to the laundry and it has saved me so much money. I do still have paper towels. I always have a roll of paper towels going, as you can see in the background here. But honestly, I go through one roll of paper towels at my house every probably less than once a month less than one roll of paper towels a month. And I know in households with a lot of kids where it's really busy, it might not be that good, but um, in my opinion, these are worth their weight in gold. They really work well and they have saved me a ton of money. Now, one household running tip that I have for you with the cloth paper towels and my cloth napkins that I have been talking about is getting a hamper underneath your sink. I just got a $2 trash can and what I do is I keep it under my sink and as soon as it's full, I just add it to whatever load of laundry I'm doing. This has been amazing and it keeps my house picked up a lot more easily. I have one in my bathroom as well for um, washcloths and makeup remover towels and it just it keeps me from throwing things on the floor and having a mess. So definitely incorporate hampers in any room you know clothes are gonna get thrown around. The next thing I wanna talk about is a water filter. A few years ago, I actually had a kidney stone and it was really horrible and painful. And one of the ways that was recommended to me to prevent them from happening again was to start drinking filtered or bottled water. I used to just drink tap water. I didn't think anything of it until I did had to go through this horrible experience. So I started buying three gallon containers of water. I didn't have a water filter at my house and I started keeping bottles of water in my trunk just so I could have plenty of water all the time. And I did this for a while, but when I moved in with my husband, he suggested we get a water filter. And this ended up being an amazing investment. Our water tastes amazing, and I will link the one that we have down below. It was a couple hundred dollars, but we have it routed to our refrigerator, and we also have it routed above our stove. And uh, I mean, above our countertop by our sink. This has been a fabulous investment because I am not buying bottled water all the time. All I do is make sure that I leave my house with a big cup of water all the time, and then I always have plenty of water, and I'm not throwing any trash away. 
I have one more idea for saving money and reducing trash, and that is to cool it on the alcohol for a while. Quit drinking for a month, you will save a ton of money, and you will stop making as much trash for sure. So that is my final suggestion. The only downside is you kind of have to feel your feelings and be as awkward as you actually are. But other than that, there are a lot of benefits to quitting drinking for even just a limited amount of time. So something to consider. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope it helped you out in some way, gave you some ideas for things to improve your life. Give it a like if it was. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of my homemaking videos. I have a DIY project coming up. I have a recipe coming up next week that I'm really excited about as well. So subscribe and I will see you next Sunday, friends.